Yeah. Y'all gon' stop me how I was the shit back then, just like I am now. Yeah, now nigga. y'all figuring y'all shutting me down. Come on, this a don't crack music. I'm about to the crown. Real talk, real talk, real talk nigga. Y'all gon' crush me out. I was the shit back then, just like I am now. I am now. How y'all figuring y'all shutting me down? How? This a don't crack music. What? Bow to the crown. First time seeing my own blood. Whoa. Turn me to a savage. Uh-huh. Chat niggas, baby mamas. Carrying around mad clips. Yes. I'm on that anything's necessary shit beyond that. Right. Took the streets by fire. Niggas gotta fall back. Uh-huh. Played the front line with warm physical contact. Yeah. Hopped out of dumpsters to burn niggas for a score back. Bam, bam. Pop your rental up. Turn that shit into a casket. Bam, bam. The concrete imprint, take it past that rap, rap shit. Right? Laughing at your presence. Uh. It can't match my passes. Nah. Y'all overreacting. Yeah. I'm so relaxing. Whoa. I had nightmares of getting popped up during two bam, bam. Waking up, reaching for my steamers, ready to move. Bam, bam. The city's gotten worse since today spent the nights. Right? They ain't believe in my nation because we so precise. Fuck. Yes, not a yes, 16, they said that was sheer hype. Greetings. It's your man, Gone Quigs. You're now in tune to Booyah FTR Television, episode 61. The madness has just begun. Now, before we get started, I would like you to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be informed every time when I drop this beautiful content. And most importantly, share this content amongst your peoples. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like and what you don't like about the show. I'm all open for suggestions. It's a beautiful life. Now today, I really want to touch bases on self-love. You know? Self-love. A lot of people don't pay that no attention at all. How can you go through life claiming that you love somebody when you don't even love yourself that way? It's a total disconnect. If it gets that far-fetched to where you feeling like the person that you love, oh, I can't make it in life without them. It, things are just harsh. It's a harsh reality. I don't want to be alone. And this, this, and that, and blah, 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 blah. And you're making up all of these scenarios so you can still deal with a motherfucker that's not good for you. Then you need to get your brain checked out. Because there's no way on earth. Unless you are married with this type of commitment that you're supposed to deem someone so much more important than yourself. How can you give them the best you if you ain't even in tune to yourself? They say the best partner in relationships and situations or teams are people that have consideration for others. Well, you have to consider yourself. You have to consider the fact that you're a human being and that you have these type of feelings and emotions too. Not to say that you have to be this emotional wreck. No, I'm not saying be an emotional wreck. I don't suggest anybody be an emotional wreck because just living off your emotions, you can see that shit can take a turn for the worse and have you all cook the fuck up with a straight jacket on, preventing you from hurting yourself because you thought the wrong way about yourself. Self-love is everything, baby. The way you take care of yourself, the way you look after yourself, the way you carry yourself, showing off your characteristics and the individuality that you possess. This is a beautiful thing. But you gotta love yourself. You have to put you first in order to give your best performance in dealing with any situation. I strongly believe that because it's true. You know how people say, I want to give you the best version of me. I want to give you the best me. Well, you can't give the best you if you not even in tune to who the fuck you is. It's a shame and quite embarrassing 
that 85% of the people on the fucking face of this earth don't really know who they are. That's embarrassing. It's terrible. Those stats are crazy. That's hideous. Don't make no motherfucking sense. And there wouldn't be so many fools out here playing the fool. Replacing the thinking it's love. You, just because you play a fool don't mean that the person loved you. They don't, it don't even mean if they gave a fuck about the way you felt about them. Maybe that ride was one of those type of rides that nobody wants to participate in. Especially motherfucking driving. That's when you get life, you get reality and virtual reality twisted. Abuse mentally, physically is not love. That is not a form of love. You can abuse yourself by being too fucking hard on yourself till you drive yourself. Cuckoo, motherfucker. I mean, if you really look at it, if you look at it, if you look at your life and your daily operations and the way that you carry on yourself and your daily itinerary, most of the shit that you get into, if you get into any shit, most of the shit you get into is behind somebody else. They didn't take heed to what they were doing and just drag you right on into it. That's the worst kind of person you can have in your life. That'll drag you in to some shit you have nothing to do with. And they could have fucking easily settled the situation fucking levels before it reached until it exploded. And then when it explodes, they leave you there to take care of the hoopla. Man, come on, man. I can count so many times that I got caught up in the other people's shit because of loyalty. At that point, I believe I was playing a fool. I let loyalty... Dragged me into so many situations I knew goddamn well better than I had to be in. You could look at that shit from a mile away and tell it this is not the situation you want for yourself. But some of us are so caught up on this thing. You know what I mean? Especially if you live in a certain lifestyle. The streets is not a myth. Yeah, let me say that again to you. The streets is not a myth. That shit is realer than real for real. That shit is reality. And it's a harsh reality. So don't confuse being out in the streets screaming that cruel love shit when there is no cruel love. It's rare to see a crew of niggas that really love each other and hold each other down to the fullest extent of life. It's rare that you're going to find niggas that click together and are somewhat a so-called team and actually treat each member accordingly and no man left behind on all levels, even when that man falls and he can't fend for himself, where's the love at then? Because it's not, it's not love going to trying to fuck that nigga's bitch when he's in jail or if he fucked up in the game, you trying to holler at the niggas, but you trying to tear this nigga down worse than he's already torn down. It ain't love to to to, to backpedal and be like have, have be a snake type of nigga and and, and, and and fuck around and do grimy shit. You're not trustworthy if you a grimy motherfucker. Period. Have some integrity, nigga. Move with some type of honor. Move with some type of self-respect, self-love. If you love yourself, I can guarantee you you wouldn't take place in about 90% of the shit that you have taken place into in your life. I can guarantee you that. I can guarantee you that the average individual that expresses the love for him or herself don't get into stupid shit. 
Don't get involved into gossipy shit. Don't get involved into fucking things that have no great ending. No positive feedback. All negative shit. Nobody got time for that. And that's just a fact. If you love yourself, I know for a fact, showing self-love makes a lot of people that be a bystanders very uncomfortable. You can't fault me because I have come to a point in my life where I personally don't care about what people think about me. They can comment on anything they want to. I don't give a fuck. The comments don't fucking put food on my plates. The comments don't pay the rent on my nice small apartment. The comments don't pay for the pretty car I drive around the town in. The comments don't support anything I have going on for me in my existence. The comments are just the comments. I only pay attention to positivity. Now you can call me anything you fucking want. As long as you stay arms reach away and give me my space. Don't inv invade my personal space and you know my area will be fine but i can guarantee you this it's a harsh reality going against a peaceful person who don't tolerate bullshit you understand me i tolerate none of that shit because somewhere deep down in my timeline, I've been through so much shit, I became numb to most of the shit that people go through in these days and times, man. What they call stress, I don't call stress. Just like what you call a dying piece of pretty bitch, I don't call that. That's a fun bitch. That's just fun time. Just like what you call the epitome of the top dog, I don't believe in that. I don't believe in none of that type of shit. I see it differently. I don't, I don't follow trends. I set them. I don't roll with what's going on. I go against that shit. Because that's just for the norm. They're trying to put together a program for the masses. I'm not part of the masses. I'm me. So I take these things and these situations a little more serious than the average person would. Because I understand that life is not a motherfucking game. It's reality. My name gone quakes. This F. TR Television Episode 61. The fun has just begun. Check out your boy. That single is out. Straight off Don't Crack Nation Media World. Separate me from them. Produced by Main T. The Great. You understand? We signing off. I want y'all to have a great time. Always stay positive. Stay focused. Never pay attention to the bullshit. And as usual. Ask me no questions, and I'll tell y'all no bullshit. We here, we working. What the fuck is y'all doing, man? Yeah. Y'all gonna stop me how I was the shit back then, just like I am now. Yeah, now y'all figuring y'all shutting me down. This a don't crack musical, bounce with the crown. Real talk, real talk, nigga. Y'all gonna crush me out. I was the shit back then, just like I am now. I am now. How hey, y'all figuring y'all shutting me down? This a don't crack musical, bounce with the crown. First time seeing my own blood, turn me to a savage. Had niggas, baby mamas, carrying around my clips. I'm on that anything's necessary shit beyond that. Took the streets by fire, niggas gotta fall back. Played the front line with warm physical contact. Yeah. Hopped out of dumpsters to burn niggas for a score back. Pop your rental up, turn that shit into a casket. The concrete imprint, take it past that rap shit. Laughing at your presence, it can't match my passes. Y'all overreacting, yeah. I'm so relaxing. I had nightmares of getting popped up during two hours. Waking up, reaching for my steamers, ready to move out. The city's gotten worse since today's spent the nights. They ain't believe in my nation cause we so precise Fuck yeah. That's not a yes 16 they said that was sheer hype What? Till they seen them crackers have me fighting for my life Come on Yeah Y'all gonna stop me how I was the shit back then just like I am now Yeah now y'all figuring y'all shutting me down Come on This a don't crack musical Bow to the crown Real talk we talk nigga Y'all gonna crush me how I was the shit back then just like I am now I am now How y'all figuring y'all shutting me down